continue to dream big as we go inside this hilltop mansion. It's located in Bel Air. The property itself is right over the Hotel Bel Air and you see the skyline of Century City and it's surrounded by these mega mansions that are going up. So anybody could come in here, build something special and be amongst this 500 million, 200 million properties. It was 1986 that it was built. And when this seller came in, he did keep it the same, but he renovated some things, he added some things. It is interesting and it actually was filmed a long time ago in Ruthless People. It was featured in that movie, Danny DeVito, this was the house. Tatiana has exclusive access into this hilltop mansion. It's located in Bel Air and has an architectural style all of its own. Hi, James. Hi, Tatiana. Hi, how are you? Nice to meet you. Thank you. Very nice to meet you. So I'm ready for you to tell me about this house. I see there it's amazing architecture here. So it is. It's a on? fabulous 80s uh, architectural, very dramatic, and it sits on one of the most fabulous sites in Bel Air. Wow. Well, why don't we go inside and you show me the property? All right, let's Fantastic. go. Wow, there's so much natural light coming in through this house. It's so, st wow, look at this stairway. <gasps> I bet there's a story there. The focal point of the house here is this two-story atrium, mm -hmm. which is huge. It creates a, a kind of a feeling of a little village in here. It's, it's really quite, quite interesting. It's unique, and I've never seen ficuses so large. There's four of them, and what I love is how it mimics the shapes. Any of the rooms and the upstairs that you go to, you look through and you see a tree. All of this natural sort of landscaping inside the house makes yeah. for a beautiful These are real field. trees that are, you know, 25 feet high. Oh my goodness. It's really interesting because when I'm standing here in the hub of the house, there are a lot of architectural details from the glass to this runway above. The entire second story is all master bedroom, except for this open area here, which is an office, and up here, which is a little entertaining area. Mm -hmm. And you can walk around this whole mezzanine and look down into this atrium. So you feel like you're in your own little courtyard village here. There are views all the way around. In fact, when we walk into the living room, you're going to see Century City right there. So let's go check it okay. out. This is, as we call it, the money shot. Yes. Wow, this is amazing. So which part of the city is this that we're, we're looking We're looking at? towards Century City here, Tatiana. Okay. And what's so wonderful is that you see right here, mm -hmm. all we see is green. Wonderful. Well, it's pretty spectacular just sitting here and looking at all of this. It's really gorgeous. Yeah. You just feel like you're completely secluded from everything else, which is so nice. The hustle bustle is right in front of you. <laughs> So the dining room is really gorgeous. I see a very specific style in the furniture. Well, it was built in the 80s. Okay. So, you know, the 80s had its own particular style and movement at the time. Mm -hmm. You know, you'll see a lot of the bull nosing, the soft some edges. level changes, the big atrium. It's just, that was very popular then. Mm -hmm. And I think, in a way, it's, it's making a little bit of a comeback. Where do we go next here? This is a little hallway that just is, is joining the atrium through to the dining room right here. Oh wow, we have more. You would think that it ends, but we have this nice little surprise here, a playroom with more view. This is a fabulous family room, mm -hmm. isn't it? Yes, that's it's gorgeous. It's got the views, we have a bar, we have the fireplace, we've got mitered glass walls here. Mm -hmm. You know, a very interesting ceiling detail. Very dramatic. And the woodwork in here, it's called zebra wood, which is a, uh, a rare wood. It's beautifully detailed. Yeah, it is gorgeous. And we have a really gorgeous kitchen here, and both of these spaces look out to a very glamorous pool area, mm -hmm. I would say. So maybe we should go take Wonderful a look at that. Wonderful entertaining after you. Wow, this is so quaint and beautiful to have such a nice garden space. Isn't you it? You know, in Bel Air, I think that's one of the beautiful characteristics of a home like this, as opposed to newer properties being built, that you have this gorgeous, charming, wide open space where you can swim and have a nice green area for entertaining and then you have a tennis court which is a nice surprise back there. The sunken tennis court was originally they say built by Nikki Hilton back who was married uh, to Elizabeth Taylor and they apparently had soirees on the tennis court 
this fabulous home, all this grounds, a pool mm -hmm. and a tennis court, all sitting on its own with fabulous views in all directions. This is a trophy Bel Air property. And it looks that way. You wouldn't actually pick that up coming from the front of the house. It's a little disguise. That's right. So as you walk through and you have all this architectural detail, you come outside and you're surprised by the classic garden area, the surprise tennis court, a beautiful pool area, and views, which you still have from the outside that you can see. For entertaining, you jump out of the pool, over to the pavilion right here, where you can have drinks, a barbecue, watch the tennis game. Okay, so for all of this, you gotta tell me, how much is the house? The house is listed at $24,888,000. Doesn't seem too pricey. <laughs> it's a great deal. It was awesome touring the house with you. Thank you so much.